Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. In this video, I'm going to be explaining about the running costs of a pond and how to calculate them. I know a lot of people worry about the ever increasing cost of electricity, so I can give you a few tips on how to keep things to a minimum without compromising on the safety of your fish. OK, let's start with some basics. To calculate how much something costs to run, you need to look at the wattage on the appliance. Normally the information is displayed directly on the appliance or in the instruction manual. Watts are a measure of power and the more watts an appliance uses, the more it will cost to run. 1000 watts is referred to as a kilowatt. If you run an appliance that is one kilowatt for one hour, you have used one kilowatt hour of electricity. In the UK, the average cost per kilowatt hour is 15p, or £3.60 per day. On a pond, you are likely to have several electrical appliances. A pump to circulate the water. A UV filter for the green algae. An air pump. Some ponds will have a lighting system and some might have a heating system too. Of these items, the pump, UV light and air pump are normally run 24 hours a day, so it is vital that we are aware of what these are costing. To work out what these are costing, we total up the wattages, then divide by 1000 to express it in kilowatt hours. The good news is that these items are not normally massive consumers. The average 2000 gallon koi pond will be running a pump of approximately 80 watts, a 30 watt UV light and an air pump around 40 watts. Add these together and you get a total of 150 watts. Divide this by 1000 to convert it into kilowatt hours and you have 0.15 kilowatt hours. So how much is this per day? Simple. Multiply your result by the cost per kilowatt hour, then multiply it by 24 to get a daily rate. In this case, the result is 56p per day. Now what about those other appliances? Well, lighting systems, particularly if they are LED, will not be drawing many watts. Also, they tend to only be used for short periods of time at night, so they're not going to amount to much. OK, so far so good, but what about a pond heater? Pond heaters are much more expensive to run, because they draw large amounts of watts. And if they run flat out for weeks on end, then the cost can soon mount up. But in general, pond heaters are not run for more than a few months a year. And if you take adequate measures to insulate your pond, then you can save some very significant amounts of money. I did a video recently that will give you some more information about this. Saving money on electricity is important. Some of the other things that you can do are use a proper pump pump instead of a cheap to buy, expensive to run sump pump. Use a good size hosing or pipe on the pump. That way, you can run a pump that consumes less power but still delivers a good water flow. Your air pump is probably not needed during the winter months as the fish will be much less active. Don't run a UV that is excessively large. For most situations, 30 watts will be fine on a 2000 gallon pond. There are of course many other measures that you can take that will help to save money please make some suggestions in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and will subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.